just thought of how cute boys were in primary school and how I should have appreciated them because, oh, like, they were so good and, like, I never appreciated them. I loved girls for, like, 12 years of my whole life and as in, like, I was interested in girls and and I never paid attention and, like, there were so many lovely ones. Like, they were just so nice and stuff. Um... But I didn't care. And now I do. And it's like, I can't date someone who's younger than me by that much, right? I can't date a kid because I am a teenager, almost 18-ish. So it's like, oh, because I knew so many good people and so many good boys. And honestly, they were so nice and I loved them so much now. But back then I was like, nah, whatever, I don't care about boys. And I'm like, what was wrong with you? <laughs> uh, I was obsessed with girls. I thought they were more attractive and stuff. And they're actually not, surprisingly. Like, they're more attractive in looks. But strangely enough, boys are actually more attractive in personality which makes me more attracted to them because they don't get as emotional which I'm attracted to I'm just saying that like I'm starting to love so many people now and I'm like I kind of wish I was younger still but I'm get I'm just getting older and changing as every person does but sometimes I wish I could just go back and do something different. And now I feel like I've... This might actually be the first time where I fully believe that I want to go back and change something. But that's just not possible right now. <sighs> like... It, it just... Like... Um, I mean... Like... When people get older, they just get more complicated and... Eh. <laughs> Especially, uh, I don't know. Because <laughs> it was so cute. And it's so strange because I've also just realised that I still like kids. You know? I thought I, I didn't. I thought I, I, I thought I was annoyed, but no. I still do. And I guess watching the bloody Brady Bunch movie has made me realise that. Watching a few minutes of it, that is. It's just making me, kind of putting me back to my, to my younger days. And uh, realising that, I don't know, I just feel less, less tense now. Like, when you at least pretend that you're younger and stuff, but you're actually getting older and all that. It's a really cool realisation to make though. Honestly, I recommend um, watching a movie or something like that or watching something that's out of your comfort zone because it can make you think differently and, and remember something or just have a thought. Something like that. So I've kind of got that to share with you guys about this and that's pretty cool and if I wanted to I could even make reviews of, of stuff if, because there's so much stuff that I like and there's so much for me to share I think the only thing that would make me feel better about YouTube would be getting some more support and, and like uh, just encouragement to keep doing this because otherwise <laughs> If I'm doing this all on my own, it's gonna get a bit lonely and I already feel that kind of stress coming up a bit. So, I really appreciate um, maybe a recommendation of something I could make based on what you think I'd be good at because I'd really like to hear that and I'd really like to try something out, alright? To try something out, in case you didn't understand me there. It's a beautiful day out. <laughs> Except you can't really see it very well. 
That's a cool angle though. Okay, that's enough of my uh, ridiculous little talk, but it's just true. Like, when you get older, you get more serious, and that's not very fun. That's just the truth of life. So, if you're younger than like maybe 15 or 16 while watching this, you should definitely have more fun. Like, just enjoy all of it because it's not going to last long. Oh boy. <sighs>